What's up guys, it's your boys Wolke back with another preview for pre-order and today we're going to be taking a look at Red Eyes Black Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh's TV series, a card that a lot of people enjoy, a lot of pe a monster that people enjoy and there's two different versions, a black and red and a purple variant. Um, we're going to be taking a look at both statues, how much it's going to be for pre-order, when it's going to be coming out, so make sure you guys grab a chair, grab some popcorn, subscribe right now by hitting the white bar icon down at the bottom right, smack that bell icon next to it so when I do post videos like this one you'll get the little ring notification as Wokey myself has posted that video and then you guys can watch comment like and share and with that being said let's get into this uh video of this statue of U red eyes black dragon a black version and a purple version i'm not quite sure why we have a purple version it would have made more sense to have a black or black and red and then a red and black where they kind of switch sides where the red eyes, obviously you see the red eyes, but then have the dragon be more prominent when it was red. But both versions look fantastic. They are going to be coming out March 2024, so we're going to be having or having to wait quite a bit of a little time, but it's not too bad on your guys' wallets. So taking a look at it, you guys can see right here the Yu-Gi-Oh! Red Eyes Black Dragon Black Version statue at $139. Not too bad. Um, if you guys look at the red version, or the purple version, I should say, it's a little bit more purple tinted, um, like it's glowing from the bottom, whatever have you. Both, I definitely think, are fantastic in looks, but myself, I think I like the more black prominent version rather than the purple statue both links will be down in the description for you guys to click and pre-order the links are going to be down in the description this is from the website big bad toy store another website i say this on almost every video i have i'm not being sponsored by anyway with this company i just overall like this company entirely from a lot of stuff that i've collected over the years that it's in my room um, I will continue, but a great website to use. Again, links will be down in the description. So taking a look at the web or the actual figure itself, you guys can see it's going to be sitting on a base type. Uh, you guys can see right here, looking like it's flying or hovering over a looks like uh, lava volcanic kind of area. The statue itself looks fantastic just from afar. Um, the statue itself, how big is it going to be sitting in your guys' room when you guys collect it and put it on your shelf? Well, I can tell you the funny skill that they have for this um, figure. It looks like it's battle-worn. It's not like it's a pristine red-eyes black dragon. This black dragon looks like it's been seeing a lot of damage, a lot of battle, which is look cool, fantastic, and so forth. Um, the size itself, again, lava, magma, um, whatever have you. Um Looking at it, it doesn't show it in here. I think it just shows it in the purple version of how big it is compared to ourselves. Yep, it doesn't show it in this one. So if we go over to the purple version, it actually shows us what size it's going to be um, on your guys' shelf. Which is the funny thing is how they have it representative of the size comparison. So if we take a look, if we keep going, we keep going. It's just showing all the spots. Three cans, three soda cans is how big this figure is going to be. So definitely a significant size figure statue, um, non-articulated in any way. Um, it's made from PVC, so it's not made of metal. It's not going to be too heavy for you guys' shelves, those that have the shelves um, kind of like mine some in some way. These ones right here are fantastic for this kind of weight, but when it comes to something heavier, it's going to start bowing down there. So not too bad highly detailed it says 13 inches um give or take depending on which version because i th apparently think somebody said that the purple version is a little bit bigger which would make no sense because they're identical but that's what i've heard in some of the twitter posts and so forth like that um it's from first four figures um, of the PVC statue of Red Eyes Black Dragon. We have seen other versions of Yu-Gi-Oh! statues when it comes to um, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes White Dragon, and so forth. And first four figures definitely makes a great quality statue. And at only $139, that's not entirely bad. Um, anything I think that's over $300 for a statue is a little high price. But again, the quality needs to match of... Um, the, the statue himself so with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed links will be down in the description let me know if you guys will be getting any of these statues one or the other both of them let me know down in the comments was this your favorite monster who is your favorite monster when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh? uh 
I definitely love my machine type uh, monsters. Um, Jinzo was definitely a favorite, but again, Dark Magician is one of the top ones, including Blue Eyes. Karibo was super cute, but let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Hit the subscribe button with the bell icon next to it, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real, keep it safe, and as always, keep nerding on, and we'll see you guys next time.